Okay, here we go, the first part of the game making tutorial series. In this part, we'll be going through the setup for the game. So, everything from downloading the engine to making configurations. We'll start off by going to love2d.org. Uh, .org. We're going to use a engine which is open source called Love2D. It's Lua scriptable. That's why it's such a good uh, option. Um, we'll be moving on to 3D games too later, but that's uh, that's more advanced stuff. So we'll start off easy. So go ahead and download the zipped 32-bit version. I've uh, already got it downloaded here. So when you open the zip, just uh, copy these files over to another folder called love. Uh, just make that folder in uh, C program files and open it and drag the files from here to there. Whoop to do. Uh, when you've done so, we're going to start making the folder for the game itself and not the engine. So, new folder. I'm going to call it example game. There we go. Example game. They're going to take the underscore between here since it might be problematic. Open it and make a new text document. If you don't see the extension here when you're trying to rename the document, then go ahead and Google it, or uh, I'll maybe put a link on the bottom of this video uh, on how to enable the, the extension so you can edit the extension. We're going to call this main. Lua. And we'll leave it at that and we'll come back to it later. Um, we're gonna make another file called conf.lua. Yes. Um, we're going to open it with your text editor. I'm using uh, Notepad. You can download that too. I'll probably, probably put a link in the description. So, um, I'm also just gonna copy all of this code. Um, the conf.lua is a file run by the engine before the game starts. It's a file that's going to tell the engine some uh, basic properties and settings and what modules to activate. Um, it's going to run the code between the function uh, word here and the end word. Nothing outside it is going to be run. It's only going to create errors, so keep it like this. Um, these lines uh, tells the engine what modules to activate. We want joysticks. We want to be able to uh, access joysticks and read off the values that they're making like when you push a button on a Xbox controller or a PlayStation, a PlayStation controller for that matter and we also want audio for obvious reasons the keyboard inputs event which uh, which enables us to to tell when we're dragging the window like this or if we're about to exit the game we want to be able to tweak images and stuff Graphics, for obvious reasons. We want a timer um, module um, yeah, to know what time we're in, how long we've had the game on, or how many FPS uh, we're having, frames per second, and so on. We also want to be able to use the mouse. Sound. Uh, sound is a little different from audio. It's more like uh, uh, formatting in schnizzle. Um, or, I don't remember if it was opposite, but whatever, we'll get to it later. Threading, um, that's very advanced, but we'll get to it one. We'll get to it. Physics, true, we want physics, and we also want a debugging console. When you, yeah, Windows only, when you're about to uh, yeah, release the game, you want to turn this false. Uh, you don't see games nowadays having a debugging console, it's very rare, very, very, very rare, whatever. Uh, we also want to have a title on the game, we're going to call it um, 
Yeah, example game. The author is Gochur or Alex, which is me. We do not want to have the game in full screen because we won't be able to see the debugging console then. Uh, vertical sync. We'll talk about that later, but we'll just hold and uh, just turn it to false for now. Uh, FSSA. Uh, we'll talk about that later. Height of the window 600 with 800. And we're actually going to take away this line. The green text you see here is commented uh, text in the code. After you've put these signs in a um, Lua file, the engine will recognize it as a comment and ignore everything that's written after it. Uh, if you're unfamiliar to Lua, uh, I'm going to explain most of the stuff we're doing. If you're not familiar with Lua, you can go to my old channel and watch some Lua tutorials there. Uh, they are a bit strange because it was meant for a game called Gary's Mod. But I'm going to go through pretty much everything as we go. Um, so save this file. I'm probably going to copy pasta it into a file sharing site and post the link in the bottom of the description or something. We'll see. X. There we go. Now we're going to make a bat file. Uh, we're going to use this bat file to run the game. When you release the game, you don't need this bat file because we'll only get a X out of this code, and uh, it's going to be uh, pretty awesome. But we're going to use a bat for now to make it easier and faster. So new text document. Let's call it play dot bat. This bat is just going to make our life easier. Uh, to run a game which hasn't been compiled yet into an X executable file, you need to open the love directory again, where you saved the love engine, and basically just just drag the folder containing the game files onto Love.exe. And shubbing, there we go, the game is running. Black, of course, because we haven't added th anything yet. And the debugging console. Uh, the next step is to make a bat file that does this for us. So, right click the bat file and press the edit option. I didn't get on the screen, but uh, you'll see it when you right click the bat file. I'm going to put this in the description too. It's nothing special, nothing to learn here. Just move on, copy pasta that from the description. X. When we double click this play.bat now, it's going to run the game. Ah, really easy. Awesome. That's what we want. And I guess that concludes the first part of this game making tutorial. See you in the next part. Whoop! Did